What's up everybody? Yep. We're heading over to the farm. We're gonna do some pressure washing. Clean up the semi like I was talking about in the last video. And go to Rokers. Rural King. Rural We're gonna go to Rural King, get some grass seed for our backyard, and probably spend too much money. You're gonna get some popcorn? You like the popcorn there? Yeah, I'm gonna have extra salt. No. Of course, we put a lot of salt on last time we were there. And our new auger came yesterday, so I'll show you that. We'll check it out. and It looks rough, but I think it's gonna work out really well. But just the cage on the bottom's all beat up, but the rest of it looks like it'll be fine, so. Here we go, let's do it. Friday, like two days ago, it was uh, snowing and like 20 degrees. Yeah. Today it's beautiful out and it's uh, 50. So it should be one of the few good days here that we got the pressure wash. Definitely gonna hit the semi. I already have that out so we can do that. Get all the road salt off it. But, but first, we go to Oracle. Yep. First. And then, um, blue Roger was working on we had a big hydraulic leak on it at the end of last year so he got all that fixed we just have to wash all the oil off so we can make sure it's not still leaking so we're probably gonna get that out and wash it and then if we got enough time we're gonna get the spreader out too and wash all inside of there where you can't normally see because the belt and everything's there we're gonna try and get that as clean as we can before we put everything back in there so Let's do it. Let's do it. Well, that was a lot and I didn't even buy anything extra. 280 bucks. Two bags of grass seed, a bag of pell lime, and a little hand spreader. That is ridiculous. Grass seed is so crazy expensive. Whatever, we gotta have it. We're fencing in our backyard here in a couple weeks. Yeah. And the backyard's still kinda muddy and that's gonna be the dog's area. So we gotta get it built up pretty nice. Yeah. Right now is the perfect time because the ground's still wet from the snow. So we just gotta bite the bullet and do it. Yep. God, that's so much. It's hard to hard to just eat, eat that, but do gotta, do. gotta do what we gotta do. That's right, Krister. We got him some popcorn so we can eat popcorn while we pressure wash things. Let's get the shop open, then we'll go look at the auger. Okay, I've never seen the auger before. Well, me and you went and checked it out, didn't we? Yeah, yeah but I didn't, because I want it with a, uh, our best doggy ever. Yeah, you're loving on the doggy. Yep, oh, and he was calm. Yeah. Well, here's our new auger. Yeah. So it was like I was saying, this cage is all jacked up. Yeah, rusty. But the flighting is thick. And it's was three, five, eight. He bought it in an auction, that Polk auction. Then we traded him that chisel plow. Yeah. But besides that, it's got hydraulic raise and lower, which would be nice. Never had that before. And it's 10 inches, so it's bigger. Can unload our trucks faster. Uh -huh. And it's in. Yeah, I don't know what the wires are for. We need to get up there and pull those out. They're not really for anything. But it's a decent auger, I think. Yeah, because those are trucks. Uh, trucks. Empties our yeah. trucks faster. Empties. That's what we use to empty our wet corn out of trucks. How? We dump it into the little hopper, remember? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's oh, that, that, that goes. Then it goes into our wet tank. Uh -huh. Yes. And then it goes into our dryer. Uh -huh. And then it goes into the big bends. And and save it and then when that's gonna um, drive according to uh, elevator, it's gonna start to 
big boy. No one uh, empty here, this big boy. Yep. Oh. Well, I don't know if we'll use this to empty bins, but maybe. Maybe. It would be faster. Oh, oh get the pressure washer corn. out. This is where he's loading out the corn. Yeah. Got two loads left and we'll be all out of corn. We'll clean, have bins will be cleaned out and everything. And Josh has been kicking ass on that front. Yeah, it is. All right, we're gonna go get the pressure washer. Rock, paper, scissors. You always pick scissors, crew? Yes. You gotta switch it up, dude. He whoops you on the rock, paper, scissor game every time. Cause, cause I pick rock every time. Yeah. Well, Kellen won the battle. He gets the wash first. Yes. But how long is the take? 47 hours. Oh no, for a couch torn. Yeah, 47 hours. Oh. Five minutes. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so we got the semis put away. Got that one all cleaned up. The other one, Josh still has a couple loads to haul tomorrow. So we'll clean that after he gets done with that. Uh, we've both got the spreader out. Uh -huh. We're gonna pressure wash the back of that. Uh -huh. Look at those nice lights. Yeah. What a pain in the ass to get those in there, but they look good and they're gonna be nice. I lights. Another good thing here is we got the spreader out. We're gonna clean up all our mess from underneath it. Ellen, uh, you're gonna sweep the floor, right? Yeah. And I gotta, I just got like clean off those those lights. I just don't know where it's the best. 
The brush is over there. All right, we're gonna get back to it here. So our biggest thing is we want to wash all this stuff off, buddy, and in there, okay? And then I might get up on top and pressure wash off our crates here inside. And then you can look at the back and I can pressure wash way up there. And up all this. Okay. We'll make it nice looking. Okay. Okay. You looking better in there? Yeah. Hey, look at you go, buddy. Got a pretty good pile going already. You're doing a good job. Keep going. Good job. Okay, guys. I think we're going to call it a day. Can someone go shut off the water for me? And someone pick up, hey, one of you shut off the water, one of you go pick up the soap shooter thing. I tell, I turn off the water. We didn't waste a lot of time on cleaning this, but we did get her all cleaned off pretty well. And, and they got the get soap on their hands and they wipe it off with a rack. Yep, worked yeah. good, didn't it? Uh, and it uh -huh. Dirt out off of her hand. Waterless soap. Waterless soap. soap. Yep. And then Kellen got this big pile swept up. And we are about done. Put that down, buddy. What is that? A little piece of metal. Hey guys. Thank you for helping today. You're welcome. Did you have fun? Yeah, I had super fun. Super fun? Yeah, we're going to have to go home and get dried off. Yeah. Well, I didn't get my hands wet. No? No, I don't even feel wet. Guys, next time. See you next time. All right. See you later.